I'm screwed yeah. at this point. Yeah, definitely. That was a um, huge attack force. Yeah, where were you at? Um, I'm currently looking at your A1 circling around my men in the uh, jungle. They've just started attacking the second tree. Alright, good. Uh, you want to put us up then? Cool. Um, sometimes we lose sync with each other because the frame rate, rate can drop. Uh, so we just do this where we pause, wait for the other person to catch up, and then continue again. My A1s are now attacking... You know, one thing that surprises me, why didn't you ever go for a helipad? Um, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I, I felt like you your unit variety was very much focused around the light factory and the medium factory. Yeah. I mean, I had one mean? tactic and I stuck to it basically the entire game, which is a fool's move. You knew what was coming every time. I, I, I felt you were really heavy on regulars. You had some snipers, you had some M60 gunners and stuff like that, but you only had one or two vehicles, or, you know, a few tanks, nothing too special really yeah. throughout the uh, entire match. So I I used my, uh, you know, I used my, my, my guys to just heal. Yeah, it was effective. I'm just coming in, attacking you again. And you've wisely pulled out. I mean, did you hear my officer whistle go off and just decide to yeah, run out? Yeah, definitely left me. And I pulled in my uh, my A1s. They're going to be like the saving race of my army. Like, look at that firepower. It's like completely terrible. But my uh. A1s come in. Bam! That's half your guys down. And then you uh, went to the cover of the trees. Instead of pulling back, I just went in. Lost a whole bunch more. Ooh, what uh, the, oh, oof, the I think you lost one guy. <laughs> I think yeah, you lost I one guy. Man. Front of the bridge and, uh, yeah, uh. I just used that really effectively because, you know, I just pulled back. I just pulled back and I used my A1s. And my A1s, when infantry is grouped up like that, they will absolutely, completely crush whatever is coming. Yeah. And uh, I, I was lucky I had a sniper in the main village, which actually took out the officer. Uh, would it, yeah, if the officer was still alive, it would have been quite powerful yeah but, yeah so um, yeah well played you know, there healing up my men again you know, reviving everyone I know you move in with your your few regs you still had in the center of villages oh yeah and took out your expensive units oh. to the back oh well you have a medic <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it <laughs> no I didn't worry about it I just moved back in revived all those guys and, uh, no problem at all and what is this? You didn't revive the men at the foot of the bridge. That's so mean. Oh, didn't they deserve it, comedian? My officers were more important. <laughs> Your officers can wait. Yeah, I forgot about them. I'm sorry. You scumbag. It was more. Uh, I wanted to take out the uh, regulars on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were a really big threat to my army, and now I got the field ups upgrade to get the um, M14 rifle. Yeah, that's going to make you uh, pretty effective. Yeah. And later on I will also get the uh, infantry drop upgrade, which I already have. I actually have the infantry drop upgrade already. Yeah. So, you can see uh, pretty soon there will be a heli drop coming in. With nice. six free marines. I like how you didn't scout into the the jungle to try and find me. You just use the binoculars power, use your aircraft, keep it nice and safe, very, very contained. Uh, there's no danger to you. Uh, you're getting to exercise these A1s, which are nice and effective. And you get to keep your men back, like in the village where they need to be, instead of moving around at the back. Yeah. That's good play. You know, That's I just a standard good play. A really effective push into your... Uh, your primary village to take out all those um, SA sevens. Yeah. Because they're just really uh, dangerous. Yeah. Um, um, and I basically uh, drop down my sniper. I want them uh, to do some some damage. Ah, uh, but you just picked off my captain with your grenadiers so early as well. Definitely, it, it is so vital. I like as soon as you hear that officer, was, if you don't take out that officer instantly. 
you will get crushed absolutely crushed yeah I mean you can see about the NVA I have so many regulars just all the time like look here I've just got a huge army of regulars maybe like more than you have men and I just build out no cost at all to me if I had the officer and I could move in with those regulars <laughs> I maybe would be able to walk over you unfortunately I don't have the officer because you managed to pick him off thank you for that yeah in meanwhile on the <laughs> at my home village again I have some uh, men lined up and I just now noticed that they all got sniped one for one <laughs> for free like absolutely nothing I did against it so um but then you come in with the combat medic bring him in get most of them back yeah <sighs> And uh, now I now I got some snipers as so well. I got my officer. I saw it coming. Move in, and the sniper tries to get away. He can't needs to get up. He needs to get up. He's gonna run away. Gonna get away. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, Just gets away. And I've got this anti-aircraft gun, which is deployed, sitting there. Is he gonna get away? It is a slow thing to undeploy, but oh, luckily uh, I saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> so close. And again, right now on the left side again. So while that's all going on. Another officer wh whistle tech, and this time a BTR-60. Yeah. Those things are deadly. I actually um, almost lose my captain there. Yeah, I have to, I have to move back so quickly. Run, <laughs> run! Regulars are faster than uh, than USA infantry troops. So yeah, they're all just getting completely wiped. And look at that amount of firepower, it is pretty whack. I tried to get in some um, M60 gunners from reinforcements as fast as I can, trying to hold desperately. You sniped my captain, and that made the difference. Honestly, that made the difference. As soon as that happened, my men just couldn't support the firepower against your upgraded marines. I mean, you've already yeah. got the um, extra gun upgrade. If you got the flak jacket upgrade, I wouldn't even be able to compete in that sort of situation. Yeah, um, definitely, and, and I just got lucky, and then I walked him right into that BTR-60, losing all of my, <laughs> my <laughs> marines there, and I, I was like, oh, why, I even, look at, look at that M60 gunner, oh, oh that's only unlucky. now do I notice, but I have again secured my home village, yeah, uh, nicely a done. really nice stable force. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm moving some some medics back in, some grenadiers building there, so I can take out that uh, uh, that BTR-60. And then um, move my captain and my main forces, loads of M60 gunners, some medics, some uh, regular troops, again from my uh, home village to the center village. Yeah. I see a marine drop just got called in. Yeah, that is uh, three marines for me. Oh, this this is terrible. I just missed this, but um, you know when my sniper almost got killed in the middle, um, in your home village, and I pulled him back with the anti-aircraft gun. Yes. I pulled him right the way back to the back of my base, and your sniper. Just chased him. Just kept going. <laughs> chased him all the way into my base, which was completely <laughs> undefended. I had nothing there. And then, uh, right in the middle of my base, just lined up a shot, took him out. Yeah, I was like, why do I have vision of, uh, of his base? <laughs> <laughs> At this stage, I was like, w what is my... what? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that's unbelievable. I cannot believe you got away with that. Just chased him down. Just looking at your base, you actually have very little anti-air. You have that um, ZPU uh, right, you know, yeah. in between your buildings, but that's a, that's about it, actually. Yeah, I had no defense at all, really. I mean, I was relying on these choke points that um, it would take you so, so long to build a force that you thought you could attack through there, but I could sort of mobilize and bring some guys there. Yeah, I didn't And this officer is the luckiest defense. officer in the world. He just walked... In, in front of all these all these guys and he, and he got away oh, oh. nice look <laughs> at him look at him at the picture he is so Pro. so proud of himself <laughs> <laughs> he is proud of himself look at him 
It's marching away. You can yeah. see it, he's just like strutting away from that forest in the background. <laughs> you can yeah. see he's loving it. Yeah, and I'm now giving away kind of uh, access to the center village. And I'm just going to get a really big force going on here on the right hand side. And, um, yeah. When you get a force of this size, it's hard for me to challenge it. It really is. And you're uh, you're doing attacks, but then you're not losing all your men in the attack. And you're not pushing until you've lost all your men. You're just keeping them back, using them for another day. Which is something I didn't do. Every time I went in, I'd usually try and chase you into the trees, try and like wipe you out. And uh, when you do that, it's just n you end up with not a lot. You end up having to rebuild your force every five minutes, whereas you've got these pretty decent sized forces around the, the map now, which I can't really compete against. I mean, over yeah. time, you're investing in these troops and you're building them up. Well, pretty much like, exactly like that. You have to invest in your troops, you have to school them, you have to teach them, you have to breed, you have to, <laughs> have to make sure they, they grow up. Yeah. Get them promoted. So they can wear the big boy like pants. On the right hand side, I'm pushing in right now to the center area. And uh, this is, uh, I laughed, laughed so hard when this actually happened. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to move in and I'm going to deploy my gunners. Just look at the spectacle. So when this officer whistles happen, I'm like, damn, I need to... Um, drop down my name, Sixty Gunner. If you drop them down, they get more accuracy. And look at all those men, they're all in a choke point. All that fire from all those M60 Gunners are completely wiping all of them out. Oh. Uh, completely. I lost everything. Fire. Yeah. And, and I, I, I knew this was gonna happen. So I really make sure that I kept my, um, my medic in the back. And. There you go. Uh, Everything's uh, back. Uh, Everything's back, and uh, right now my uh, my officer took down that uh, <laughs> scout vehicle. Got him to level three. Unbelievable. And once once they are rank two promoted, you can actually drop down two drops at the same time if you have the normal drops upgraded as well. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. They just just go right past your CPU. I actually didn't have it deployed. I just had it sat in the back. <laughs> Gave you an extra yeah. six men for free, which I shouldn't have done. Yeah, it actually damaged all those six men as well. Because the second heli, it spiraled <laughs> down and it crashed into my men. <laughs> nice. And, and right now, I have this really good force of, of men. And it's I huge. realized I have nothing. Nothing to defend me against tanks, against anything. And look at what comes in from behind. That's unlucky. <laughs> That's uh, very unlucky. Oh, so painful. So just sitting here, taking your men out. <sighs> and then, here I make a completely idiotic decision. Instead of just using the binoculars, playing it safe, scouting the men out, then using this machine gun on the top of this tank to take them out, I just sent all my men in. I was like, I want a battle which I can win. I just want to... One one battle which I actually win. <laughs> yeah, but I had my I had my M60 gunners deployed and I take out look at, look at how many men I take out. Take out your officer as well. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, not playing well. <laughs> I just wanted to win a battle. I wanted that feel good factor. My ego was feeling pretty bad after those early losses. How? How do I still have two villages and you have one? You're winning everything. Well, that's just the power of having to be able to replenish all your men really quickly. Yeah. And uh, now I've moved in all my men into the center village. Um, this is actually not on purpose. I'm, I'm not kidding. I did this on accident. I just didn't have enough like men to compete with you. And also, I saw those um, medics. I knew anybody.